Hi, this is Gary with MacMOS Now. On today's episode, let's look at the resume feature in Mac OS X Lion. So the resume feature is a pretty simple new feature of Mac OS X. Some people like it, some people don't. So here's a basic idea. Say you're in Safari. You've got a couple of windows open that you're browsing, but you go to Safari and quit to get out of it. Okay, so now you would expect the next time you're on Safari that it would open with either a blank window, a new window, or nothing, and you have to navigate to pages again. But instead, it reloads those pages and those windows instantly, exactly as they were before. So here's another example. I'll hide Safari there and I'll run text edit. Now last time I quit text edit, I was in the middle of looking at this document here. And you can see that it's just going to load it right up and stick it on the screen. So this kind of blurs the line between hiding an application and quitting from the application. In the past, say, you could be looking at something in Safari, decide you wanted to work in another application, hide Safari, work in that application, and then show Safari again when you want to bring those windows to the front. Now you can actually just quit Safari and then relaunch it later and those windows will reload. The same for working on just about any type of document. You can kind of quit. You can even shut down your Mac and the next time that you're running your Mac and you start up that application, all the Windows documents you were looking at before will reload instantly in exactly the same way that they were when you quit. So that sounds great, but it can get confusing. For instance, say you're browsing the web. You end up at this page and you decide to quit Safari. So you do so, and the next time you launch Safari, you might expect to find your home page or a blank page or however you have it set up. After all, if you look under Safari Preferences and you look in General, you can see New Windows Open With, and you could set it to Top Sites, Home Page, whatever you want. And you can have your home page set to whatever you want as well. But instead of it obeying that, you're always seeing the last page that you looked at. And it can be confusing if you don't understand the Resume feature. Or consider the case that you're looking at a PDF document in Preview. You're reading it and you're finished so you hit Command Q to quit. Several days later you run Preview again and the document automatically opens. You didn't even remember that you were reading the document. So it can be a little confusing. The proper way to do it would of course to be to close the document first and then quit Preview. Now you can shut this all off. If you go to System Preferences and you look under General you'll see an option right here for Restore Windows when quitting and reopening apps. Simply turn that off and the entire Restore feature is turned off for all your applications. Or you can simply change how you quit applications. For instance, in Text Editor I close this window or go to File, Close, and then Quit. But I could also, instead of doing Quit Text Edit, hold down the Option key and it, see it changes to Quit and Discard Windows. Or I can just not even use the menu and just do Option Command Q. Doing that means the next time I open Text Edit, that document will be there. Same works for Preview, Safari, whatever you want to do. So by just getting used to Command Option Q when you want to close all the windows, or just Command Q when you want the windows to resume where you left off the next time you're on the app, you get the best of both worlds. Now I should also note that the Resume feature has to be enabled in the application. So of course it works with all the Mac applications now and several other ones that have updated since Lion. But older applications won't use the Resume feature. So I hope that better explains the Resume feature and how it could help you or how you can simply disable it if you don't want to use it. Until next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.